rain couldn't keep down day two action from the Northern Sea Divisional Track and Field meet here at Memorial Stadium as many athletes vying for one last chance to compete next week at the state meet. We'll start on the boys' side as belt continued to stay hot. Speedster Ethan Triplett's top time in the 200 meter this year has been .01 seconds short of qualifying for state. Today, he runs a 23.21 second time, enough to secure first and qualify. We'll stay with belt as it's Memphis Black who won the shot put yesterday, continuing his dominance of the discus as he nabs first with a throw of 140 feet, 3 inches. Black is currently third in all of Class C in both events. State's best high jumper in Class C, Chinook's Toby Niederrigger in a jump off with win at grass range Jace Dunkel. No problem. He wins it with a height of 6 foot 2. Then to round out the boys, power, Spencer Lenners with a PR, now top time in the state for the 300-meter hurdle in Class C, earning first with a time of 41.06 seconds. Belt boys go on to win big with 139 points. Now to the girls. Another day means another meet record broken by Belt's Lindsay Paulson as she breaks a 1,600-meter record with a time of 5 minutes and 9.02 seconds. A big weekend for Fort Benton's Chloe Kalanick winning shot put yesterday and dominating discus today with a throw of 124 feet 4 inches, almost reaching her PR. She sits second in the state in discus in Class C. Staying with Fort Benton, Jenna Dunham with a clutch performance in the 200-meter dash as she PRs and qualifies for state by .09 seconds with a time of 26.76 seconds. Belt girls would narrowly beat Fort Benton in the team race 61-58. to As always, full results online at montanasports.com. For MTN Sports, I'm Dylan Foreman.